What's the difference between a natural diamond, a treated diamond, and a diamond simulant? A lot of information is out there on the web about this, and some of it is more confusing than it is helpful. So I thought I would try to sort it out for you guys all at once. Now, a natural diamond is exactly what you think it is. It is a diamond that was created by Mother Nature millions of years ago, deep underground. A miner found it, a cutter cut it, and a jeweler set it in a ring for you. That's a natural diamond. There are also treated diamonds, what you may hear here referred to as enhanced diamonds. Well, what's that? That's a natural diamond that after cutting, someone looked at it and said, you know, there's a pretty major flaw in here that I think we can correct. In other words, sometimes a diamond will have a big piece of graphite right in the middle of it, a big black dot. And we can correct that by drilling a hole in the diamond with a laser, a very small hole, and then bathing that diamond in a solution of very strong acid under high pressure at high temperature. We, we literally put the diamond in a pressure cooker full of acid. That acid goes down into that little hole and bleaches that, that black dot white, which improves the appearance of the diamond. Also, sometimes diamonds have fractures in them, you know, big cracks, crevices, that we can fill with silicone or with other filler material and make them less visually obvious. So those diamonds have been enhanced or treated, but they are no longer considered natural diamonds. So is there anything wrong with that? No, not necessarily, but it's very unethical for someone to sell you an enhanced or treated diamond and as if it were natural because those treatments very much affect the value of a diamond. Take two diamonds that look identical, one's natural and one's treated. The treated diamond is worth about half as much. So it's something you need to be aware that uh, is not a trivial change in a diamond. Natural is much more valuable than treated. Then there's another category of stones, diamond simulant. There's lots of other stones out there that have been designed and, and engineered to look as much like a diamond as possible. Mawsonite is one. And then, of course, there are other less expensive ones like cubic zirconia, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, those stones are not diamonds. They don't have the same chemical properties as diamonds. But to a, a layperson, to a casual observer, some of them look very much like a diamond. And you can certainly convince yourself that it's, it's a pretty good substitute for the real thing. But it's not the real thing. So be careful of anybody telling you this is the same thing as a diamond. It's definitely not. Uh, my personal philosophy is that a diamond simulant is, is in, a, in a certain sense almost you're being dishonest with yourself. I believe if you don't want to buy a diamond, if you don't want to buy the real thing, don't buy something that's trying to be a diamond be a diamond. Buy something else completely. Buy a sapphire. Buy a pearl. Uh, get a ring with no stones at all if you either don't want to or can't afford to buy a diamond. But I advocate against buying something that's pretending to be a diamond. Because if you do that, you have two choices. Choice one, lie to your girlfriend about it when you propose and tell her it's a diamond. Nobody should start a marriage that way. Or two, tell your girlfriend and then explain to her that now she has to give the speech that I've just given every time somebody asks her about her ring at a party for the rest of her life. You're, you're, you're buying a ring that has, a, has an asterisk a, attached to it and you have to make a speech about why you didn't buy a diamond every time somebody asks forever. It may seem like it's no big deal, it's gonna get annoying, trust me. So if you don't wanna buy a diamond, buy something that looks nothing like a diamond. And if somebody asks you why you didn't wanna buy a diamond, say because I didn't want to. That's easy. So there are simulants out there, but take my advice, guys. Stay away from them. One thing that's become popular in the last few years is to use other stones besides diamonds as center stones and engagement rings. People use sapphires or emeralds. Uh, morganite has become very popular, uh, uh, aquamarine, and a number of others. Certainly, there's nothing wrong with doing that if that's what you want to do. You do want to be careful, though, about which stone you choose for your center stone in terms of its durability, because that becomes a practical issue. Now, diamond is the hardest stone that we know of, but sapphire is pretty close, and ruby, pretty close. I don't know if you know this, but sapphire and ruby are actually chemically the same stone. In the world of precious stones, there are really only two. You've got diamond, and then you've got two stones. Uh, one is called corundum, and one is called beryl. Now, when corundum is red, we call it a ruby. When it's blue, we call it a sapphire, etc., etc. And beryl, when it's green, we call it an emerald. 
When it's pink, we call it a morganite. When it's blue, we call it an aquamarine. When it's yellow, we call it heliodor, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. But they're really the same stone. So diamond is the hardest. Uh, corundum, which is ruby and sapphire, not far behind. And beryl, your emerald, aqua, heliodor, morganite, is, is quite a bit softer. So if you're buying a beryl engagement ring, you have to be very careful and very cognizant of the fact that sooner or later you are going to chip that stone. That's not something that really is meant to be worn every day forever because the day is going to come when you chip the stone. Is that a big deal necessarily? No, it's not that expensive to replace one of those stones. But a lot of people attach a lot of sentimental value to, your, to their engagement rings. So if you want a stone that's going to last forever, there's a reason they say a diamond is forever. It's not just marketing. That stone is as impervious as you can get to damage, and it will look exactly the way it does now next year, in 10 years, in 100 years, and in 1,000 years. A diamond really is forever.